biggest Dollar Tree haul in my life. Hey guys, it is Friday and I'm back with another Dollar Tree haul. So I went a little crazy at the Dollar Tree. Uh, yeah, this is the most I have ever spent. My total was $193.12. What? So, I got a lot of stuff. I feel like even the cashier was like, I think you got something down every single aisle in our store. And I was like, you know what? I think you're right. So, I'm going to start showing you everything. I'm going to try to be as quick as possible because I do not want this to be super, super long. But if this is not your first time watching me, you know I get a little chatty. So, let's get into this. Okay, first things first, I picked up three of each of these. These are full size, so for a dollar, that's an awesome deal. We try not to drink sodas that often in our house because I, I definitely do not like to drink my calories. I love my coffee and I love my water, um, but this is a great, great cost or great price and we like them, so I pick them up every so often whenever I go. This is the Mountain Dew Code Red, so again, we got three of these. And then this is the Cherry Coca-Cola and three of these as well. I got four different like mailboxes. They are super, super cute. They are Christmas. They even have the little flag that you can pull up. That's what I get for trying to hold all four at one time. And then they open and trying to rush. So this one's super cute. Here, let me show you this side. It says Winter Wishes. And then, oh, it says happy holidays on the front, merry and bright on the back, super cute. Next one is like a kid's, kids one. It has a snowman on the front, this same one on the back, and then on the side it has Santa and a reindeer, and it says ho, 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 super, super cute. Then this one is probably my favorite. It's kind of like a stamp theme, and this one says festive wishes on the front. On the back it says have yourself a merry little Christmas and then on the side it says Merry Christmas and it has a couple other stamps and oh, I just love the colors on this one. Then the last one that I dropped are some snowman and snowmen and penguins. So on the front it has penguins, what does it say? Festive cheer. It's the same exact thing on the back and on the side it says let it snow and it has three really cute snowmen on it. Not sure if I'm gonna save this for like gift giving or do some kind of activity with my kids with this. I picked these up not too long ago. Actually, I've picked them up a couple times now. Definitely a repurchase. My husband loves these. He's the main dishwasher in our house because it's the chore I hate the most. So he, uh, he loves me so much because he does the dishes for me. But he loves these and he tells me every single time I go to the Dollar Tree to pick these up. It is Brillo Basics. There's eight in here. You guys, pay attention because they also have a box that says like more value, but it's four and then it, that is crossed off and it says five. Uh, eight is the better value. There's nothing special about this box, but the other box makes you want to buy it. But there's only five in that box. There's eight in this one. So just, I wanted to point that out. Make sure you're picking up the eight count. All right, very boring, but I got some toothpicks. I am doing a lot of baking, and this is what I use to poke in the middle of things. And when I'm putting like appetizers and stuff together, I love using Q-tips. Or did I say Q-tips? Did I say that the first time too? I mean toothpicks. Whew. Obviously, I can't do this going fast thing. All right, we're gonna go over toothpicks. There's 500 in here for a dollar, of course. I have seen a lot of people haul this, and I thought it was super cute. I do not necessarily need this, so I'm actually saving this for a future giveaway. It is a two-pack take-it-to-go cups. It does have the lids, and it says dishwasher and microwave safe, BPA-free, so I thought that was awesome. These are the baby aisle. I do not have babies, but these are perfect for packing in your kid's lunchbox to hold snacks or some kind of condiment. So I picked some up for my son. These are red, his favorite color. They have pirate lids, and it also comes with a spoon. And then I got these pink ones for my daughters, my younger two. They are not in school yet, but I still sometimes prep their lunches for the week. So this would be perfect for that. It has little kitty cats dressed up as princesses, and this one does come with a spoon as well. I got these, my kids and myself included, actually the whole house, love gummy bears and like fruit chews and that kind of stuff. And I saw this, it's the Star Mix by Haribo. Um, I think that's how you say that, Haribo. 
It says kids and grown-ups love it, so it's all of your favorites. Um, let's see, okay, on the back it shows me. So there's gummy bears in here, there's the cherries, there's the gummy snakes, there's the, the, um, the cola bottles, and the little rings. So I picked up two of these. I got quite a bit of snacks this time. That's one thing that we're running low on. Um, and I think it went a little bit crazy because we were so under budget in our grocery that I spent more time in the grocery section than I normally do. So I got some Pringles, the pizza flavored. Now, if you guys know how much Pringles cost at like Walmart or HEB or your local grocery store, let me know down below because I have no idea if this is a good deal or not. I just saw them. I love this flavor Pringles, so I picked them up. Um, I feel like this is smaller. A smaller Pringle can? I'm really not sure. I haven't bought Pringles in forever. It says it's 5.5 ounces, so I got that. Repurchase Miss Freshly's Delicious Deals, the mini donuts. There are 16 donuts in here, and there are four packages, so they're like packaged up in fours, which is perfect because I have four kids, and they have like one sleeve for donut, uh, one sleeve for breakfast sometimes. Okay, I got some of these. I have not tried these in forever. Actually, I don't even know if I've ever tried them. I don't know, but I watch, you guys know, if you're not new to my channel, I love Nicole. Her Dollar Tree hauls are my life, I swear. Every single Thursday, I'm waiting for that video to come up so I can just add to my wish list. But she hasn't talked about these in a while, I don't think, but I know that she has in the past and she said that they're delicious, she loves them. So this time, I was looking at the candy and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get them and try them. They're the Werther's Original Caramel Apple Filled. So I got these and then like right next to them, were these ones and I had to get these ones because they say caramel coffee and I did get the sugar-free one they had a normal package but I was like gosh this is a lot of snacks in my cart so like I got one thing that was sugar-free but whatever like that's gonna make a difference but I did get both of these to give a try these are also perfect for putting in like gift bags and some mugs that I'm gonna show you in a minute okay I, this is what I mean by like I got a bunch of candy and then by the time I got to that I was like okay sugar free it is. I love cherry Twizzlers so I picked this little pack up for me. It is the Twizzlers Pull and Peel Cherry Flavored. Then I love Rolos Chocolate and Caramel. I can't say that enough. My favorite snack so I got those. And then I got my husband a bag of Snickers because we during the holidays we watch a lot of well Actually, most of the time it's just me watching them because he doesn't like the Hallmark or Lifetime movies, but I love those Christmas movies. So I picked up some snacks that we can snack on at night after the kids go to bed and while we're watching our like holiday movies. Okay, you guys, I got not every single kind that they had. I think I got a total of eight. I'm gonna show you all of them. Um, but I have a coffee like mug thing in my kitchen on the wall if you guys have seen any of my vlogs you've probably seen it already I got it at Hobby Lobby I love it and I saw the Dollar Tree had some Christmas mugs and I was like oh how cute would it be for Christmas time to put all my main mugs or coffee cups up and just have the Christmas ones out so I did go a little crazy get some coffee cups but I thought these were cute and these are perfect for a dollar for gift giving this is what I'm talking about you could easily open this up fill the mug with something, close it back. It even has like a little label to and from. Now all of these are for me, but whatever. They're super cute. So I'm gonna take them out and show them to you so you can see a better look. Like how cute is that? So this one says, have a Merry Christmas, ho, 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 merry and bright. I'm gonna take all of them out and put them back in so you can see them. And then this one is just some really cute overstuffed penguins. Then we've got the Santa suit. So this one is not the same size mug. The other ones, the other three I showed you, and I think I got some more, are like the short, round, fat ones. This one is a tall and skinny one, but I still thought it was cute. And it says, ho, 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 it has Santa and the reindeer. This one matches, and I think some of the other ones match the mailboxes so you could do like a two-in-one type of gift and match those together super cute Dollar Tree knows what's going on with gift giving this one's super cute it's got the snowman on it and one of the sweaters says I love Santa I got this one it is definitely a red theme even the trees are red I almost wish the trees were like a dark hunter green um, but it's still really cute and it says Merry Christmas very pretty 
I love this one. It's the poinsettia. And it has some pine cones on there as well. And last one, so I did get eight, is this one and it has ornaments on it. This is another thing that I pick up almost every time I go to the Dollar Tree. They are kid floss picks and they are flavored. I always forget. Fruit smoothie swirl is the flavor. There's 30 of them in here. I pick up two packages because I have three kids that we floss their teeth every night. And this is a much better deal than the ones at Walmart. Oh my gosh. Look what I did. <laughs> I got 13 of these picture frames. They are eight by 10, yes, eight by 10. I am doing a gallery wall in my dining room with that kitchen themed calendar. I pulled out all the pictures that I wanted. I think there's a couple that I'm not using. Um, and then I have some other pictures that I'm gonna be putting in these. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them all black yet. I might paint them, but for $13 for these and a dollar for that calendar, that's an awesome price for some wall art. Got a pack of Christmas cards. I have not sent out Christmas cards in, actually, I don't even know if I've done it since I had the twins and they're gonna be five in November. So I'm gonna try to send out Christmas cards this year. Probably not gonna have like pictures of our family in them, but I am gonna send out some cards. This is a set of 12. It does come with the envelopes as well. I thought it was super cute. It says, stay comfy and cozy this holiday season. And on the inside, it says sending warm wishes for a wonderful holiday. My 13 year old is wearing makeup almost every single day. Not like a lot of makeup, but she does use makeup wipes. So I always pick her the ones up at the Dollar Tree. And these ones are pretty good. They're sensitive skin cleansing wipes. There are 25 in here. She hasn't complained. So this is another thing that I pick up almost every time I go to the Dollar Tree because uh, she likes them. If you guys watched my last Dollar Tree haul, I think my husband picked up the like cap little toy gun for my son. He really likes it. We do make sure that we are around when he's playing with it because um, some of these spark sometimes. So you have to be careful with that. But I did go ahead and pick up two more packages of the caps um, because and I'm not expecting this gun to last very long because it is not very good quality. Um, but I went ahead and picked up two more little refill packs for him. Another thing that I got for my son, this is probably going to go in his stocking for Christmas time, and it is Star Wars. This is Rogue One. They had two other versions of Star Wars. I think they had, oh gosh, I can't even remember. I think one of them was more like the Star Trooper theme, and then one of them, oh, one of them was Kylo Ren. Like all the cars were like Kylo Ren themed. But this one is on the movie Rogue One. Um, it comes in this collectible embossed tin, and it is a set of playing cards. It does have the Disney logo on it. So I thought this would be cool for him to start playing some games with us. I got some more wall art. I thought this one was so stinking cute to leave up for like November. I probably will not leave this one up like year round, but just to stick it on the wall somewhere in the kitchen area or even the dining room for the month of November because it's the pecan pie recipe. I thought that was super cute um, and I love the way it's written. It almost has like the chalkboard feel to it. So I picked that up. Then I got this one and it says, welcome to our home. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this one yet or if I'm going to save it for friend mail or for the giveaway. It really depends on, I have an idea where I want to put it, but I don't know if this is too wide. So if it fits, I'm keeping it. <laughs> if not, I'm gonna pass it along. And then I got this one. Um, I have so much coffee stuff. I don't know if I'm going to put it all up or if I'll like keep it and just switch things out every so often, but I just couldn't leave this in the store. It was so cute. It says, life is what happens between coffee and wine. I love my coffee in the morning and I love drinking a glass of wine at night. I don't drink a glass every single night. Um, I also enjoy the occasional beer, but I love coffee and wine regardless. So. This definitely spoke to me when I saw it. This is something that I picked up kind of like on the fly. I'm pretty sure I already have one, but I wasn't totally for sure. Um, my son, we just had a meeting with his teacher this week and he is excelling at everything, but his handwriting, he needs some help with his handwriting. He writes way too big and it's very, very messy. So I picked this up just so we're not wasting a ton of paper. He can practice writing on this, erase it, you get the drift. That's what we're using this for. Okay, I posted on the community tab 
and on my Instagram and Facebook, pretty much all my social media, that I was going to the Dollar Tree today and I asked you guys what you would like me to see pick up. And then in a previous haul, I asked what your wish list item was. And somebody, actually multiple people, commented on these. And they are the um, like the sweet treats ready set stamp set. So I picked this up. This is definitely going into the giveaway. So hopefully one of you guys will get it. Then I picked up some stickers for my twins. They love playing with stickers. And these ones are really neat. These are liquid stickers. So they are both Monster High and they have liquid in them with glitter. Thought they were super cute. More stickers. I got a sticker kit. And this one is also going to go in the giveaway because I'm pretty sure I already picked up this one for myself a while ago. I have to look through all my stickers. But this is really cute. It's alphabet and word stickers. There's four sheets in here. I'll show those to you. So these would be really cute if you are a really big planner and you like decorating. Super cute. Or for friend mail, that kind of stuff. And then I got myself some Christmas stickers and this is going to be for my planner um, or for friend mail and stuff like that for putting on envelopes and things. But there are 25 in here and it is, um, they're all like Christmas sayings. Happy holidays, festive cheer, Christmas, have a very merry Christmas, let it snow, all that kind of stuff. And going along, oh, I've got coloring books here that are trying to fall. Going along with the like planner, theme i got these glitter markers to use they have a bullet tip it says vibrant metallic ink with glitter i got the only these are the only two different um like color combinations that i found so the green and the, the gold and then the red and the blue okay i picked this up for my son um because he doesn't quite have and i don't think they started it in his school yet for first grade i know they started a little bit in kindergarten but i don't think they've gotten to it in first grade yet but I want him to be prepared so I got this time and money learning book it has a lot of different activities like how to tell time in the front and then in the back it's all about counting money and like what coins are what and how the value of everything so I picked this up for him to kind of work on over the holiday breaks got my girls my twins two coloring books they love shimmer and shine shimmer and shine <laughs> shimmer and shine so I got this one for them and then um, they love My Little Pony as well. So I got the My Little Pony coloring book. Okay, I got some clear bowls here. I'm doing a lot of cooking videos. Every Wednesday I post a cooking video and this was actually my husband's idea to get like clear bowls so you guys can see better the ingredients that I have laid out and I love that idea. I was like, gosh, that would make it look so much better instead of like my mismatched Tupperware and for a dollar this is an awesome deal or price for these things so I got this set of mini round bowls there's six in here then I got this one and I don't think this really like says what they're called but their bowls also just a little bit bigger and this is a 12 pack then I got these bowls which are like almost cereal size bowls and this was a two pack Okay, I am loving these LED light sets. I have a set right behind me. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know, but they are leaves. So I have those out for fall and well, actually until like the end of November. And then I have a pumpkin set as well that I have somewhere else in my house. So when I saw that they had the Christmas themed ones, I was like, yep, I already know exactly where I'm gonna put them for the month of December. So I picked up two different ones. These ones are the snowflakes and I'm pretty sure the lights are all white yes white leds and these are indoor use only and then i got these ones and these are like christmas light bulbs that you would like put on a tree i thought they were super cute so i got both of those how cute are these they had three i think three different prints they might have had four um, but this was my favorite so i picked one up for me and then i picked one up for you guys for the giveaway and they are just coin purses and then of course it looks like a little mitten i thought that was adorable this was another thing that one of you guys commented on i think several of you actually the ornament markers so i picked these up the last time i went to the dt and asked you know what your wish list items were or what i should be on the hunt for and some of you guys said that you were having trouble finding these so i picked up one of each color the white the silver and the gold and these are going to go in the giveaway as well 
I got some headbands for my girls. Probably gonna save these for their stockings, but they are, they, this is a green, obviously, and this is yellow, and they have little cat ears. I thought those were super cute. I have way too many pins in this house, and um, probably more than I will ever get through, but I saw these and I thought they were so cute. Probably gonna leave them out either in this little tin that I have on my desk or in the little tin that I have in my kitchen because they are Christmas themed. I got each of the designs that I saw there. This one is like a tan background with white snowflakes and red in the middle. And then this one is kind of like holly almost and flowers with a red background and the flowers in the holly are white. There's a little bit of green in there. And then this one almost looks like wrapping paper and it's got red, white, green, and blue stripes all around it. I think they were super cute. I had to pick them up. Okay, another thing you guys have let me know that you're having trouble finding sometimes are the nails. So I got these two for you guys and they are, these ones are very, very holiday friendly. They are like the French manicure, but right under the white part is a little bit of glitter, like a little line of glitter. So it just screams holiday to me or even everyday wear. Same with these. I thought these, these were super cute. It's the French manicure look, but it has a little black bow and the little black dots on it. I bet those are super cute. Okay, these are the kid ones, which I love for my nails sometimes because I have very, very small hands. And I love this. They were just a lavender color. There's three of them that the, the lavender is a bit darker. It's like a deeper purple color and just this white little print on them. So I picked those up for me. Oh snap, here's some more candy. I saw several people haul these and I wrote them down on my wish list and I'm glad that I saw them, especially these ones because I love cherry cola. So these are both Mike and Ike. I got the root beer float and the cherry cola. I was, I'm really excited to try these. Mm, these are gonna be so yummy. Okay, I get back pain, not a, a ton, but a couple times a year. So I picked up some of these just to have on hand. This is a hot or cold kind of like ice pack you can keep in your freezer or heat it up in the microwave. Um, they're calling it a pain relief pack. I do have a couple of them. Um, one of them, however, is missing. So I picked up another one to replace that. And then these are kind of like hot patches. So I got one for like my upper shoulder or neck area. And then most of my pain though is always in my lower back. So I picked that one up. Haven't tried these yet. So if you guys have tried these, let me know if you like them. Um, but I'm just keeping them on hand for the next time my like muscles act up. Okay, during the holidays, my actually, I was gonna say my kids, but really it's just Pearl, one of my twins. She loves being with me in the kitchen. She loves cooking and helping. So I saw this, this is called a cookie turner, which is really cute, but when I saw it, I just thought it was a small spatula. So I thought this would be cute for her to help me out with some of the like desserts and meals and things that we're gonna be doing in the kitchen the, for the holidays. No idea if this is good. So if you guys have used this, let me know. I'm gonna wait until somebody tells me before I use it. Um, it was only a dollar dry shampoo. It is 2.2 ounces, but I got the one from Lush and I'm not in love with it. Um, so I wanted to pick up another one, just a cheap version, because that one from Lush was not cheap, uh, just to tide me over until I can get my favorite one. The one that I bought many, many months ago is almost ready for the trash, so I got a new one. I love these. I have it hanging in my shower, and I just rub the bottom of my feet real quick every single, every single time I take a shower before I get out. It is the uh, My Beauty Spot, and it's called the Four Sided Ultimate Foot Care Petty Tool. I got some lip duos. I'm excited to try these. I'm really trying to get away from like a neutral lip. I have a very, actually it's probably already all gone now because I was at the Dollar Tree for two hours. Um, but I'm trying to wear, get a little bit more color on my lips. So I picked three of these up. They are LA Colors Lip Gloss and Lipstick Duo. Um, this is the color Pleasure. So it's kind of like a coral lipstick and gloss. And then this one is Twinkle. It's more on the pink side. And this one is Clarity. So this one is more like a, not really mauve, but I mean more like a natural looking color. So I'm excited to try these three. All right, I got two of these. 
No idea where the other one is. We'll come up to it. But I saw somebody haul these. Another thing that I wrote down on my wish list from watching somebody else haul it. But this is the decorated Christmas card garland kit. There's 12 little, um, oh my gosh, what are these called? Clothes pins in here on some twine. And then they have these little felt snowflakes glued on them. I thought that was super cute. I've never really displayed my cards during Christmas time before. So I think this is cute. But I got one for me and then one for you guys. I got some bread that is going to go straight into the freezer until I meal plan it in somehow. Um, but this is, I think they're both, yeah, they're both cobblestone. And I got the right sized Brooklyn rye seeded bread. That sounds yummy. And then I got the toasted onion sandwich rolls. These sound really good and they, they smell good. So both of these, pick these up, but they're gonna go in the freezer until I meal plan for them because I do not want them to go bad. I picked up some Christmas activity kits and I mean if you guys are Dollar Tree shoppers you know if you see it one day there's no guarantee that it's going to be there the next day so I did pick up a lot of Christmas stuff um, which obviously I won't be using for at least another month uh, so these are all felt ornament kits and I wonder why they say ornament kits I don't know I don't think you're really like supposed to hang them on your tree they're huge but I thought these would be fun for the kids to do I got the gingerbread man the snowman, and then the Christmas tree. Got these two cute little containers, and it almost looks like it's washi tape around the center there. This one has little penguins all over it, and this one has Santa Claus and a snowman. These are plastic, but I love that they have the lids that just pop right open. So you could use these to hold like Christmas candies out on your countertop or for gift giving. These are perfect. I never find the good wall stickers. Occasionally I found a couple cute ones, um, but I found a lot this time. And this one actually, Kira from Fifty Shades of Mom posted on her Instagram and I immediately was like, oh my gosh, I need that. I have never seen it. And I'm pretty sure she's gonna send me one. Thank you so much, Kira. Um, like, yeah, she knows, I love my coffee. So when I saw it, when I went today, I was like, okay, I love it. I know everybody else is going to love it. So since I saw it, I picked this one up and this one is going to go to you guys into the giveaway. But it says, first I drink the coffee, then I do the things. That is so me and my husband could totally vouch for that. I am useless in the morning until I get that first cup of coffee down. Like seriously, no lie. Then I saw this one and I thought it was so stinking cute. It is just these leaves. I wonder if you can see it because of my glare. There we go but they are like not, it's like a rose gold. That's what it is. I was gonna say gold. Yeah, it's a rose gold, but I love the pattern and I thought these would be super cute to hang up somewhere or stick on my wall just for the like fall and Thanksgiving season. I can never find any good boy ones. I always find the good girl ones. My son is just kind of picky about what he wants to decorate his room with, but I did find two that I know my girls are gonna love sticking on the, their walls. And I love that these are super safe for painted walls. The, the kids can just stick them up, take them down, put them wherever they want, and they won't hurt anything. So I got this Shopkins one. My girls love Shopkins. And then also the Trolls. So they're gonna have a good time putting these all over their walls in their room. Then I saw this one and I thought this would be fun to kind of teach the kids the states. Um, it's just the USA and it has all the states and I love the colors on this one as well. The, the shades of the blue and the green and like the peach and navy. I thought they were really pretty. Then I got this one. No idea where I'm gonna put it if I'm gonna save it or if I can find somewhere in my house. I feel like I have a lot of stuff with this print on it already just because I love this saying. Of course the saying is enjoy the little things. I just like that it was like a chalkboard print. So I'm gonna have to look around my house and see if there's anywhere that I can put this. Okay, I got these frames. I do have a kind of like school command center in my house and I have a picture frame for each of my kids. I have four kids and to hold like pictures of them each year to show how they're growing and all of that. Well, this year I ordered their school pictures and I ordered the wrong size for the frames that I already have on my wall. They're too small. So instead of reordering the pictures, it was cheaper for me to just buy frames and I'll just switch them out. Now that I have two different sizes, I can just switch them out 
if I want a bigger size of the school pictures one year, you get the hint or you get the drift. So I got four picture frames and they are five by seven for my kids' school pictures. I had to do it. I had to get a notebook. <laughs> this one is super cute. I love the blue color. It says, let it go. And it has an arrow and some feathers. I bet you guys have no idea who I'm sending this to. I hope she doesn't already have it. I don't think I've seen her haul it, but I don't know. Uh, but I thought it was super cute. And this one has kind of like, it looks almost like a bigger, bigger lines on here, but I thought it was really cute. Okay, I have never seen these before, and um, my son is awesome at reading, I swear. He is definitely above grade level, which is great. So I'm trying to have him start to sit down with my twins and read with them, try to get them ready for kindergarten. So I saw these, and I picked up each of the ones that I saw. They're called Early Reader Sight Word Stories. So uh, preschool prep. This one is all about the words in and we, and then it's themed around the seasons. Then this one is I and my, and it's themed about my day. Then we've got if and would, themed around things that go. And who and with is themed, about, uh, themed around wild animals. And last one is are and not, and it's themed around pets. I think my kids are going to love these, and they are going to be super easy um, for them to hopefully learn some sight words. I got a book for my daughter and most of the time when I get a book for my daughter I read it also we have the same kind of we like the same types of books so this one is by Rochelle Mead and it's called the immortal crown an age of X novel um, this is also the author of Vampire Academy which is a series that my daughter and I have both read we've watched the movie I think it's on Netflix um, this book was originally $24.95 that is crazy and of course I just paid a dollar for it then I got this book. I thought it was super cute. Um, it's called Bon Appetempt, a coming of age story with recipes. Um, this was originally $26 and of course a Dollar Tree book. I only paid a dollar for it. Um, but it is a story. It's a book like you read a book, but it also has recipes in it. Let's see if I can find a recipe in it. Oh, I think I just skipped one. Yeah, so it definitely has recipes that go along with the story. So I thought this was really interesting. Okay, this is another thing that I pick up almost every single time I go to the DT, and that is cranberry juice. I actually got a different one this time than the one that my husband normally picks up because I think this is probably better for him. The other one has a ton of sugar in it, but this is Old Orchard Healthy Balance. It says sweetened with Splenda and it is the apple cranberry. So I got this one for him. And then I saw this one and I was like, okay, yeah, I love apple cider. It even says on here, delicious hot or cold. So this is Old Orchard, same brand. And it's just the apple cider juice cocktail from Concentrate. And then again, delicious hot or cold. And these are both 64 ounces. Okay, this has been on my wish list forever. Like seriously, forever. I bought one sometime last year I think it might have been earlier this year and I've been looking for another one ever since because I keep one with my cleaning stuff and then I keep one in my kitchen when I'm messing with like raw meat and stuff if I sometimes I'll touch the raw meat but sometimes I just get the willy jillies and I don't want to touch it so I want a pair of gloves and I wanted to make sure I had two different sets of gloves so I got this one for in my kitchen then I got these little picks. I thought they were super cute to pack with like the kids lunches or if we're doing something fun kind of like kid food activity here at the house. Um, these ones are just plastic forks. There's 70 in here and they are red, white, blue, and green. I just think they're cute. These kind of things to help keep your kids like food together if you're doing like kebabs or something. And then these ones are heart picks. There's a hundred of them in this one. So this one is definitely a bigger bang for your buck. And this has like a, a light blue, a coral, a pink, and then like a turquoise color. Okay, I almost picked up two of these, but the other box was just, it looked severely damaged. So I'm hoping I can find another one because I do want to put one of these in the giveaway, but we'll see if I can find it. But I did pick this one up for my son. He loves Pokemon 
and I think we're gonna get him some cards as well to go with this as some kind of Christmas gift or we do Elf on the Shelf also and our elves bring gifts sometimes for the kids so we might save that for that but this was really good and for a dollar I think that's an awesome deal I don't know how much this would be somewhere else but it is by Creative Kids and it is the Pokemon activity set it comes with a coloring book three velvet art posters a stencil sheet a sheet of stickers and then six markers oh here we go look all this is what comes in here it shows you on the back i got some calendars i got this one for my girls for next year it is the disney princess 12 month 2018 calendar here's all the little pictures in there so each of my kids has a calendar in their rooms just so they can learn the months and follow along with the days and then i got these two for you guys, I actually have two other ones. I try to get all of them because I know you don't need four, five, six calendars, but these make great word art or gallery art for your house. So you could use this as a calendar or you could use the pictures for each month and put them in frames, which is what I'm doing and hang them around your house. So this one is Wild Heart and Free Spirit. I thought these were super cute on there. And then I got the farmhouse one, which is why I got those frames that I showed you because I'm going to be hanging these ones up in my dining room. And I got this one for you guys because a couple of you guys mentioned that you could not find this one. So I picked this one up for the giveaway. I have never purchased chair, co chair covers before and I have, you know, there's six of us in this house, but they only had four. So I did pick up four. I'll probably let the kids have these on their chairs and then my husband Mark and I won't have anything on our chair but they are just the pumpkin and it says trick-or-treat they have a skeleton one also but it was really creepy looking and my kids are still kind of young so I don't really like getting like the really spooky stuff but I did get four chair covers for our dining room I got this sign I already have a sign outside that I love I have that witch one um, but I've seen lots of people haul this and then I finally saw it in the store and I thought it was so cute I had to get it so I'm just gonna hang this one up outside as well I'm gonna have two signs this year I got a coloring book for my son and this one is sharks and actually one of my twins Rose loves sharks also so she'll probably color out of this but I got that and then I saw this dinosaur book um, and it shows that they have different ones on the back here there's different ones, but this was the only one that they had. So I picked it up because my, all three of my younger kids love dinosaurs. And this isn't a coloring book. This is like an activity book. So it's got puzzles and jokes in there, it says, and all sorts of things. I got some Halloween themed paper plates because we are having um, a couple of family members over for dinner on Halloween. They stay at the house and pass out candy while we are out trick-or-treating with the kids so I just got a set of plates that we can have our dinner on then I picked up some more candy no judgment here okay it's not like I buy this much candy all the time but the holidays just they get me they get me these are the caramel apple taffies made with real caramel oh man I'm in trouble I got some Christmas ribbon I got a tray at Ikea earlier this year and I have been putting ribbon, matching ribbon for the holidays through it. I have a Halloween in, one in there right now. Um, so I picked this one up to put in there for the month of December. Are you guys getting tired yet? I'm getting tired. Uh, I think this bag is like full of food. Yeah, it's full of food. Okay, what, I have never seen these before. I'm excited to give them a try. What is the expiration date? Cause I might hold on to them to like closer to Christmas. I don't know. The bag just looks like it's Christmassy. Yeah, January 5th. So I'm going to hide these for a little while, but they are cinnamon twist multigrain sweet churros. Those look so yummy. I got my husband's favorite snack. He loves these things. These are the peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets. You guys, sometimes when we're having a movie night, I'll send my husband to like the gas station because we forget to get snacks and we love to eat snacks. I know. And he picks these up. They are like expensive. I don't know how much they are. I'd have to ask them, but I showed them that they had them at the Dollar Tree and he was like, pick them up because they're more at the gas station. So I picked these up. This is again, Rolos and this are like my downfalls. I love them. If, if I ever see them, I'm gonna get them and eat them. Um, but this is a big bag. It's 8.75 ounces and it is the Cheddar Chex Mix Mix. Cheddar Chex Mix. 
I guess I didn't have to say mix. It's a snack mix. That's what it is. Pretzel crisps. I love these things. They are so good. So good. So I got the original one because uh, I love these ones. And then I saw these. Now, I will not eat these. I might try one, depending on what my husband says, if he likes them or not. But they are bacon habanero. He loves spicy stuff. So I thought he might like these ones. Okay, this is an item that somebody commented that I should be on the hunt for, and I'm so glad I found them because I'm excited to give them a try. I picked up two boxes just in case I do like them and I have a hard time finding them again. Um, they are biscolata, so I don't know, it kind of makes me think of like biscotti or like a biscuit, um, and it says lemon-filled cookies topped with white chocolate. What? That sounds so good. I knew I had some more bread. This is another cobblestone brand these are the sweet party rolls again i'm going to put these in the freezer until i meal plan for them but i don't find bread that often at my dt but they they had like a huge stock of it this time this is definitely something that i'm going to put away for closer to december um, but they're double filled twist pops so that, obviously it is an oreo it's just not the oreo brand and it has the peppermint chocolate cream cookie so it has like the peppermint filling in it this is something that I have never seen at my DT, and I haven't seen anybody haul it either because it was not on my wish list. And everything on my wish list is from watching other people haul stuff. But this is Miss Freshly's, which is a really good brand at the DT. Um, it says Twirls Cinnamon Sweet Rolls made with Cinnabon Cinnamon. What? I did get two packages because they are kind of small, and we are a family of six. Um, but it says warm up for a yummy treat and the directions are on back on how to warm it up um, but you can easily make your own like frosting to go on top of this just a little bit of milk and powdered sugar yum eat okay i'm worried about how long this video is going to be because i just had to change my battery okay i'm pretty sure this is the last food item who knows i did get a lot of food like i said um, but I haven't seen these before either. I don't know if I've seen anybody haul them. They kind of remind me because of the packaging of those fig bars that you can get at Costco. Um, they are Daddy Ray's and I got two different flavors. The apple bars, does it tell me how many are in here? No, it just says it's 10 ounces, but I got the apple bars and the strawberry bars, but they look like Fig Newtons is what they look like. So hopefully my kiddos will like these. Got some mailing supplies. I pick these up, not every time I go, but most times, um, just because I send a lot of random mail. I got a small like bubble envelope mailer. I got the big one and I got a small box. I'm gonna need a big mammal jammo box. I'm gonna have to go to like Home Depot for a box for this giveaway. I got some more Christmas stuff. These are just like gift package bows. Um, that I thought were really cute. These are like sparkly red ones and there's two of them on here. And then these ones are red and gold. I thought they were really pretty and they have these like really big gold balls in the middle. They had a ton of different kinds of like Christmas bows out. Another craft that I'm gonna save for like Christmas break or for my girls while the older two are at school to do is this coloring paint set. I love that it comes with two pictures because I don't have to buy two, I just spend $1 and both of my girls can share it. So this one comes with like a happy holidays with penguins and then the other one says holly jolly and it has the birds and it does come with the paint and one paintbrush. Okay, these are new, at least to my DT. I love these kinds of trays. I picked up the bigger ones a while ago and I love them to separate my kids' lunches when they're at home. Um, and because I don't have to use paper plates or my like nicer plates. I love these ones uh, So I picked these ones up. They're smaller, but they still have like one two three four five different Compartments on there and I got four different colors I think there were six colors total, but I got red pink green and blue again I love these things for my kids for like lunches got some baskets this is a set of three i have these in my pantry um, with little command hooks and my husband told me that he wants to do the same thing in our master bathroom on his side of like the sink just to hold some of his stuff so i picked these up for him and to go with that i got this two pack of command hooks i really need another one but this was the last one that i found so he's only gonna be able to hang up one basket right now but it has two little hooks in here and they are the perfect size for hanging those baskets up. 
I got these last time and I asked you guys if you thought it was a good deal. A lot of you said that it was an awesome deal. My daughter loves this. I have a hard time finding this flavor. Um, and it is the Glacier Cherry. Somebody asked me last time and I couldn't remember the flavor. But it's a Glacier Cherry. These are the big ones. This is 24 ounces. So I picked up four of these for my oldest daughter. Um, she drinks them like after school or sometimes she'll actually take them to school with her. How cute are these little birds? Oh my goodness. I think they are adorable. Um, they have a lot of glitter on them, so I'm definitely going to have to use that hairspray hack so glitter doesn't get all over the place, but I thought these were super cute to use as Christmas decorations. Then I got some more little Christmas statues. I'm going to have to show them one at a time because I don't want to drop them, um, but they are super cute. These ones are like total, oh my, my hand is full of glitter. Definitely going to have to do the hairspray to this thing. Hopefully it works, but this is Santa and it's just a little ceramic statue. I've got the penguin and I had to really like pay attention to search because some of the paint on some of these are like really messed up so I did my best to find the four best looking ones and the snowman and the fourth one in the set is a reindeer got this snowflake ornament Dollar Tree has some really awesome ornaments this year you guys like really I love them I got this set of ornaments. There are three of them. This one, and I, I just love the plaid. It's really cute. And all it is is a box. Like seriously, you guys, they made this out of a box, but hey, I'll pay a dollar versus spending the time to do it myself because it's super cute. But this one has a white cutout tree on it. Then this one has ah, a snowflake. And the last one has a reindeer. Like how cute are those? I am in love with this one. I love it. And it is, I love the fact that it's a real bell. Like seriously. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to hang this on my tree or if I'm going to hang this like on a doorknob or somewhere else around my house just because it's really big and heavy. It might weigh the uh, branch down, but I thought it was really pretty. I love the burlap bow and the white of the bell. All right, you guys, that is it. Now I have to put all this stuff up. Oh my gosh, I hate it when I buy this much stuff in one go because I have to put it all up after showing it all to you guys. But if you guys love Dollar Tree hauls, give this video a big thumbs up. I hope it wasn't too long. I'm gonna do my best to edit it down to it be as short as possible because I know some of you guys do not like long videos. Um, but speaking of long videos, there is an option where you can watch this at like one and a half times speed. So it goes by really, really quickly. That's how my husband watches almost all of his YouTube videos. He loves just snapping them out real quick and watching them at a quicker speed. So if you guys didn't know about that, I wanted to go ahead and let you know because I know my haul videos are super, super long. So I post every single day and I will have yesterday's video up on the screen somewhere and I will see you guys tomorrow with something new. Bye.